there's someone magic that inspires things. Thank you. Take this journey with me through the summer solstice 2020 at Burns Valley Herbals and Retreat. This was a powerful time of energy for sacred healing and planting seeds for a new dawn. As we set up on Thursday and Friday, we thought all was going well with the weather. But then, Friday afternoon, as guests arrived and the wild hymns set up to play for the evening, the rain began to pour. There was a torrential downpour for about three hours. I went back to check on our tent and found all of our things soaked and our tent flooded. Element and Landon helped put things in the car, and when we went back to get in, the doors were locked with all our things inside. It seemed like it was one thing after another on Friday. I felt overwhelmed and frustrated that the very first day of our very first retreat was starting this way. But I was reminded that even and especially in the challenging times, to walk in beauty and grace and find gratitude. On Saturday morning, the fog was heavy, but the rain had stopped. In the morning, I woke up and meditated, offering tobacco with my prayers of gratitude to the creator, Gichi Manitou, for all that he has given. After yoga and breakfast, everyone was able to readjust and situate their campsites, and then there was a garden tour with Brenda. Here we go. Here we go. Trimmers, trimmers. Some of them work easy, some of them work less, less easy. Okay. Brenda led guests through her garden, describing the different plants and their healing qualities. Sage. This is garden sage. On the other side is a, a variegated sage. So this is uh, Roman chamomile. And they're just starting to flower now. So you pick all these little tiny flowers. As guests gathered bundles of herbs to take home with them, the sun shined brightly upon us. Here comes the sun! Yay! This was a reminder from Creator yes. to have hope for a new dawn. So, you have your base. After the garden tour, we went back to the pavilion to mix personal tea blends for the weekend. And then you have taste. You want to, you can put uh, eventually honey into it, but I do have stevia here. And the stevia... We also enjoyed creative expression time to make our intention offerings for the ceremony. And then it began to rain again, but this time everyone was prepared and ready to face the challenge. So instead of being frustrated and overwhelmed, we decided to make music and dance with the rain. The ceremony for the summer solstice was going to be by the pond, however the rain had different plans for us. We worked together to rearrange the picnic tables under the pavilion and set up our solstice altar to burn our offerings and set our intentions. The turning point was when the sun began to shine again, just as the solstice was happening at 5.43 p.m. circling around the valley. Real soon. We were able to build and burn our bonfire by the pond, celebrating the life force of the sun, dancing the night away with drums and rattles. As our fire ceremony burned through the night, we celebrated friendship. We celebrated creation and love. Yeah. We celebrated Tammy and Jack Bray's 15 year wedding anniversary. Like it has been done for years all over the world, everyone jumped the solstice fire with intention for a brighter tomorrow. Sending prayers and healing to the world. Celebrating the sun and the life that it gives. Yay, Ellie! Yeah! Woo! Woo! We are fire! Yeah!
At the end of the night, the sky was crystal clear and you could see every star in sight. We saw three shooting stars. Another reminder to always have faith. As the fire burned low, the fireworks began. Bright, colorful explosions in the sky to celebrate the energy of life, reminding us to always be a light in the dark. On Sunday, we rose from our sleep to a new dawn, full of hope, joy, laughter, and love. Tammy and Jack facilitated laughter yoga. It was a blessing to have their energy and love with us. One of the most memorable activities from laughter yoga was the centipede. This was the perfect ending for a beautiful weekend, bringing us back to center and reminding us to find the joy and gratitude even in the trials. This weekend was a huge lesson of the Phoenix. Realizing that we must go through trials by fire to come out of the ashes made new. Miigwech to everyone who helped make this weekend possible. Thank you for your presence, your love, and your support. Until next time.